risen Christ uttering His first word after the resurrection. And the risen Christ will ask Mary Magdalene, Woman, why are you weeping? Why? It was very similar to the question three days ago as narrated by the Gospel of St. Mark. Why have you forsaken me? It is very similar to the first words uttered by Jesus recorded in the Gospel of St. Luke. Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I had to be in my father's house? When he was 12 years old, he asked Mary and Joseph, Why are you looking for me? The, the day that he breathed his last, in the Gospel of St. Mark, he asked, Why have you abandoned me? And now that he is risen, he will ask Mary Magdalene, Why are you weeping? It seems that the favorite question of Jesus is why. When he asked Mary and Joseph, Why were you looking for me? They were not able to answer. Mary and Joseph took it as a mysterious question that could not be answered by human words. When he asked the Father, Father, why have you forsaken me? There was no answer. There was no thunder from heaven. There was no voice that was heard from heaven like a voice that was heard in the river Jordan that said, This is my beloved son. No voice. It was a mysterious answer. And now Jesus asks his favorite question. Why are you weeping? And there is an answer. Mary Magdalene will say, If you are the gardener and you took away his body, please tell me where you hid the body and I will get it. Listen to the response. When Jesus was 12, he asked why? It was answered by mystery. When Jesus was 33 and about to die and he asked why? It was a mysterious silence. After the resurrection and he asked why? It was a mistake. They thought he was a gardener. Mary Magdalene thought Jesus was a gardener. And he asked the question, Where is he? And now, Jesus answers Mary Magdalene and says, Mary. What is the importance of Mary? It was Jesus telling Mary, I have called you by name. You are mine. I have called you by name. You are mine. And when Jesus said Mary, Mary recognized the Lord. Mary recognized the Lord who has claimed her to be His own. It was not only said to Mary, it was said to all of us. When we grieve, when we are discouraged, when we are frustrated, when we think we have no hope, when we think that the sin is too much, when we think that the wound is too deep, when we think that the whole world is against us, the Lord calls us by name, as He called Mary by name, and said, You are mine. I have written your name on the palm of my hands. We received our name on the day we were baptized. And the day we were baptized is our Easter. 
Because on the day we were baptized, we died to sin and we rose again and we were given a name and we were called by name. On the day I was ordained, I was called by name. On the day I was confirmed, I was called by name. On the day you get married, on the day you receive communion, on the day you receive absolution, you are called by name by God. Because God wants to tell you, do not be afraid anymore. Do not get discouraged anymore. Look at the future with hope now. Because I have called you by name, you are mine. But the beautiful story does not end there that Christ claims us to be His own. Because today, on Easter Sunday, the Lord now tells us, My resurrection is yours. We are not only the Lord's. Today, on Easter night, the Lord tells us, I am yours. My resurrection is yours. My rising from the dead, my victory over darkness, it is yours. It is not just mine. You are mine. I have called you by name. My resurrection is not only mine, my resurrection is also yours. And therefore, rejoice. And therefore, hope. And therefore, share that hope and that joy. How the Lord addressed Mary is how the Lord addresses us. I have called you by name. You are mine. And now you call me Lord. My resurrection is yours. You have called me Lord. My victory is yours. You have called me Lord. Our victory over darkness, over death is also yours. How beautiful it is to be called by God by our name. But even more beautiful it is for God to offer us His name, to offer us His new life, and to say to us, I am also yours, as you are always mine.